So we're going to take and assess lateral elbow pain. So the most common test is going to be the Cozen's test. So we're going to have elbow extension, pronation, wrist flexion, and resist finger extension. You're going to follow the path of the muscle to see if that reproduces the pain. It'd be nice if life was that simple, but this muscle will come up and attach up on that lateral epicondyle. So you can have to palpate and see if there's pain right up where it inserts, or is it somewhere along the muscle? Now our treatment is we're going to load the muscle. If it's attached more to the periosteal component, then you're going to have to go to the lateral epicondyle and palpate more on the anterior part of the lateral epicondyle. So sometimes when you do Cozen's test and you go to palpate, you're not finding exactly where the patient's pain is. When you supinate, that's more of a tenoperiosteal issue. And when you move the extensor mass out of the way, they may feel more discomfort in that position. Alternative muscles, you can have Anconius, which is involved in elbow extension, terminal elbow extension moves the capsule out of the way. So you can do some resisted testing there. You could have the uh, tendon of the triceps also involved. If we want to look more at ligamentous structures, as we just did in the last lab, you could do your varus testing in extension and 20 degrees of flexion, realizing that that lateral collateral ligament will still cross this area as well. When we're looking at the radius moving on ulna or the radius moving on humerus, you're, that could contribute to discomfort as well. So then what we'll have is you may just check that glide. Remember with flexion for the radius moving on the humerus it glides anterior and then with extension it glides posterior. But what you would do is just get onto that capitulum and move it anterior and posterior, see if it reproduces the pain, see if it causes any crepitus as well. Now realize that when you're feeling this joint you're also moving through that extensor mass. So don't confuse it with the fact that you might be actually moving that tissue as well. If that still stymies you and you're not sure what's going on, you could go through your neurodynamic testing, seeing if there's any uh, neurodynamics that are involved. You would probably actually look more at either the radial nerve and see if that causes any of the pain coming up that way. You might have Finkelstein's, which we'll talk about later, that could cause increased pain as it goes through brachial radialis. So those would be more of the zebras. They wouldn't be as common, but if you're not finding primary lateral elbow pain, you're going to have to look at other causes as well.